cannot achieve in the physical ikiwa kuna kitu chochote ambacho hauwezi kukifanya hauwezi kukipata katika asili the lord will take your weakness bwana atachukua udhaifu wako and make you achieve it if you go through solitude na kusababisha uweze kuipata ikiwa utapitia upeke did you get that one je ulipata hiyo That means if there is anything as a Christian that you cannot achieve walking in holiness for example. Hiyo inamaanisha kwamba ikiwa wewe ni Mkristo kuna kitu ambacho hauwezi kukipata kwa mfano kutembea katika utakatifu. If there is something about walking in holiness that is disturbing you. Ikiwa kuna kitu kuhusiana na kutembea katika utakatifu ambacho kinakusumbua mno. If there is something about the prayers you are putting in for your family. Ikiwa kuna kitu kuhusiana na yale maombi unayofanya kuhusiana na jamii yako. And you feel you are not making a breakthrough. Na unahisi kwamba hauna penyezi you can always achieve it by separating out kila wakati unaweza kukipata kwa kujitenga moses achieves it musa anaipata elijah achieves it the lord himself separates out also elia pia anaipata naye bwana mwenyewe anajitenga pia to be able to achieve these things how can you do that then wewe utaweza kuyapata vipi sasa he promises us anatuahidi The Lord did promise us very clearly. Bwana alituahidi wazi kabisa. He said he shall send us the Holy Spirit to help us. Alisema atatutumia Roho Mtakatifu kutusaidia. You hear that? Ulisikia hiyo? Which means actually when you separate out. Kwa hivyo hiyo inamaanisha kwa hakika wakati ambapo unajitenga It is an encounter with the Holy Spirit. Ni kukutana na Roho Mtakatifu. Every time you separate out kila wakati ambapo unajitenga you encounter the holy spirit unakutana na roho mtakatifu when elijah separated out wakati elia alijitenga he encountered the holy spirit alikutana na roho mtakatifu when moses separated out wakati musa alijitenga he encountered the holy spirit alikutana na roho mtakatifu when the lord jesus separated out he encountered the holy spirit wakati bwana wetu yesu kristo alijitenga akakutana na roho mtakatifu and for as long as the lord says You should be Christ like then you can also separate out and encounter the Holy Spirit. Basi unaweza kujitenga ukutana na Roho Mtakatifu. And he promised, he promised that the Holy Spirit will help you. Naye akaahidi akaahidi kwamba Roho Mtakatifu atakusaidia. Hallelujah. Another situation before we go to the final one. Hali nyingine kabla hatujafikia ile ya mwisho kabisa. Luke 22 Luka mtakatifu 22 39 somebody you can read them at home to finish up with everything 39 mtu unaweza kujisomea nyumbani ukamaliza kila kitu is what he says here somebody Inasema hivi hapa iwe mtu Jesus went out as usual akatoka Yesu kama kawaida to the mount of olives kwenda milima ya mizeituni and his disciples followed him na wanafunzi wake wakamfuata on reaching the place he said to them alipofika mahali pale aliwaambia pray that you will not fall into temptation ombeni kwamba msiingie majaribuni and listen to what happens 41 nasikiza kinachotendeka 41 He withdrew about a stone's throw beyond them and he knelt down and prayed. Mwenyewe akajitenga nao kama kiasi cha kutupa jiwe, akapiga magoti akaomba. That's another separation that Jesus does. Hiyo ni kujitenga kwingine ambako Yesu anafanya. He separates again father. Anajitenga tena kiwango kingine. So separation is always going to be very important. Kwa hivyo kila wakati kujitenga kutakuwa kwa umuhimu. You are going to have to separate from the same old you're seeing out here. Itabidi uweze kujitenga na ile utu wa kale ambao unaona kule nje. 
You are going to have separate from your acquaintances, from your family relations, family normalities. Itabidi ujitenge na wale ambao ni marafiki au ni watu wa ukoo au ni wandani wako wa karibu. To be able to encounter God from one level to another. Ivi kwamba uweze kukutana na Mungu katika kiwango kingine. When you look at the disciples of the Lord. Sasa wakati natazama wanafunzi wa Yesu. What did you see about those disciples? Unaona nini kuhusu hao wanafunzi? They were very different. Walikuwa tofauti kabisa. And one of them Peter I want to talk about today. Na mmoja wao Petro nataka ni nene kumuhusu leo. One time Peter decides to separate from the rest. Wakati mmoja Petro anaamua ajitenge na wengine. That's another separation. Na hiyo ni kujitenga kwingine. Into wilderness. Kuingia katika jangwa. Separating from the rest. Akijitenga kutokana na wengine. Let me describe it to you. You can read it later. Hebu niwaelezee mnaweza kujisomea baadaye. They were crossing over to the other side. Walikuwa wanavuka kwenda upande ule mwingine. The Lord was fond of telling them after preaching and it was going dark said let us cross over. Bwana alikuwa amependa sana kuambia baada ya kuhubiri na kulikuwa na giza kwamba sasa hebu tuvuke twende ngambo ya pili. He always said that. Kila wakati aliwaambia hivyo. So they entered the boat and they were crossing over to the other side. Kwa hivyo wakaingia mashua wakawa wanavuka kwenda upande wa ngambo ya pili. And when they reached somewhere in the middle. Na wakati walifika mahali fulani hapo katikati. All of a sudden. Ghafla. Jesus appeared from this direction here. Yesu akaonekana toka upande wa mwelekeo huu hapa. And they thought they had left him over there. Na wakafikiria kwamba walikuwa wamemwacha huku kwingine. You see? Waona? The Lord Jesus appeared from this direction here as they were heading here. Bwana Yesu akaonekana kutoka upande wa mwelekeo huu hapa and he was walking on water. Na alikuwa anatembea juu ya maji. You see? Waona? The Lord was walking on water. Bwana alikuwa anatembea juu ya maji. And they were sitting in there. Na walikuwa wameketi pale ndani. And many of the disciples. Na wengi sana wa wale wanafunzi. They had been walking with Christ for a long time. They were walking with Jesus for a long time. Walikuwa wametembea na Kristo kwa muda mrefu, wametembea naye Yesu muda mrefu sana. And I remember at the Mount of Transfiguration. Na nakumbuka pale katika mlima wa mageuzi. He asked them akawauliza Whom do people say I am? Watu husema mimi ni nani? They did not even know the Christ they were walking with. Hawakumjua hata Kristo waliokuwa wanatembea na yeye. Until Peter receives wisdom from the Father and says you are the Christ. Hadi Petro anapokea hekima kutoka kwa Baba anasema wewe ndiwe Kristo. Now the same Peter here. Sasa Petro yule mmoja mmoja hapa hivi. They are in the boat. Wako katika mashua. Which means they have been walking with Christ and they did not know that. Kumaanisha wamekuwa kitembea na Kristo na hawakujua hivyo. They are in the boat. Wako katika and, mashua. And Christ appears from this side and it's kind of evening, you know the sea is very mysterious in the evening. Ni kana kwamba ni wakati wa jioni na Kristo anatokea huko na unajua kwamba pale baharini au ziwani inakuwa ni tofauti sana au ajabu ajabu wakati huu wa jioni. And all of them cried and they were terrified they said he is a phantasma, he is a ghost. Na wote wakalia wakaogopa wakasema yeye ni pepo yeye ni zimwi That is a ghost Hilo ni pepo How could they identify Jesus as a ghost having walked with him for a long time Wangewezaje kumuita Yesu pepo au shetani baada ya kutembea naye kwa muda mrefu How possible is that Inawezekana vipi A ghost is an evil spirit the Lord bears the spirit of the Father Pepo ni roho chafu naye Bwana ako na ile roho wa Bwana How could they have called him a ghost, a phantasm? Sasa wangemuita vipi shetani au zimwi? And then it is only Peter. Alafu sasa ni Petro peke yake. It is only Peter again. Ni Petro peke yake mara nyingine tena that recognizes him and steps out completely. Anayemtambua na kujitokeza waziwazi. Wazi. That represents separating out. You see that? Anajitokeza waziwazi wazi kabisa na hiyo inaashiria kujitenga waona hivyo listen to me somebody hebu nisikize mtu when peter separates out from them wakati petro anajitenga they called him a ghost all of them said he's a ghost walimuita pepo wote kabisa walimuita pepo and that's what the world does today you are in a big boat today of the world na hivyo ndivyo dunia inavyofanya leo hii huko katika mashua moja kubwa sana leo hii inayoitwa dunia the boat in the world is calling him a ghost na sasa mashua ambayo inaitwa dunia inamuita pepo ama zimwi. They have given Jesus the wrong identification. Right Wamepatia Yesu Kristo kitambulisho kisicho sawa hivi sasa. The church in Kenya, the church in the world. 
Kanisa la Kenya, kanisa la duniani. The church in America, the church in Europe. Kanisa la Marekani, kanisa la Europa. They have given Jesus the wrong ID. Wamepatia Yesu Kristo kitambulisho kisicho sawa. They call him names, they call him a ghost. Wanamuita majina, wanamuita pepo. It took the wisdom of the Holy Spirit and Peter recognized him. Ikagarimu hekima ya Roho Mtakatifu naye Petro kamtambua. And when Peter steps out, na wakati Petro anajitokeza, he is able to walk towards him and even defeat the laws of nature. Anaweza kutembea akimuelekea na hata kwenda kinyume na sheria za kiasili. You see that? Waona hivyo? So even in your walk. Sasa hata katika mtembeo wako, in your walk with the Lord. Katika mtembeo wako na Bwana. The things you cannot perform in the physical when you separate from the mob. Wakati unajitenga kutoka kwa kikundi that have given Jesus the wrong identification the Kenyan church ambayo imepatia Yesu kitambulicho kisicho sawa kama vile kanisa la Kenya pia that have been worshiping money and prosperity ambayo imekuwa ikiabudu pesa na ufanisi you see waona the evil worship where freemason has been popular Ibada ya uovu ambayo wabudu wa shetani imejulikana sana. They bring big money into the church. If you separate out from there. Wanaleta pesa mingi katika kanisa. Ikiwa utajitenga kutoka pale, then you can even pray and those cancers will disappear. Basi unaweza kuomba na hata hizo saratani zitatokomea. You can pray and the Lord will hear your prayers. You can pray and your kid will be delivered. Unaweza kuomba Bwana akasikia maombi yako. Unaweza kuomba na mtoto wako atakombolewa. You can pray and the Lord will heal you even the doctors will be surprised. Unaweza kuomba naye Bwana atakuponya hata madaktari wapate kushangaa. But we thought you had a tumor we need to operate on you. Lakini tulifikiria una uvimbe inabidi tukufanyie upasuaji. How come now it does not show? Yawezekanaje sasa hivi haionekani tena? Many things will happen. Vitu vingi vitatendeka. That is the true meaning of the scripture there. Na hiyo ndio maana ya ukweli andikwa hilo hapo. You will defeat the laws of nature you will operate like Jesus. Utashinda na kuenda zaidi ya sheria za kiasili kumaanisha utafanya kazi kama Yesu. Jesus was walking on water and Peter was able to walk on water also. Yesu alikuwa anatembea juu ya maji na ye Petro vile vile akawezeshwa kutembea juu ya maji. When he separated from the multitude that called him a ghost. Wakati alijitenga kutokana na umati uliomuita pepo. You see that? Waona hivyo? So in your walk with Christ, I want you to seek to separate out from the mob. Kwa hivyo, katika mtembeo wako na Kristo, ningalipenda utafute sana kujitenga kutokana na umati. Separate out. You may be alone and you see very clearly there. Ujitenge, unawezekana kwamba uko peke yako na unaona wazi kabisa hapo. You see clearly that when you separate out many people are going to call you. Unaona wazi kabisa wakati ambapo unajitenga watu wengi sana wanaenda kukuita. Something is wrong with you. Why are you doing that? What is wrong? Watakuambia kuna kitu kisicho sawa na wewe. Kwa nini unafanya hivyo? Kuna kitu kilicho kasoro mahali. Why have you gone to that false prophet? Ni kwa nini umemwendea huyo nabii wa uongo? How come you don't know that that's a false prophet? Yawezekanaje kwamba uwezi kutambua huyo ni nabii wa uongo? Hey. Hey. Everything I said happened. Kila kitu nilichosema hakika tendeka. It happened. Ilitendeka. And ever since when did the devil ever send somebody to come and preach repentance and holiness? Natangia lini shetani akamtuma mtu akuja kuhubiri kuhusu toba na utakatifu? You see? Waona? To a filthy prostitute church like the Kenyan church. Kwa kanisa chafu la kikahaba kama kanisa la Kenya that is prostituting between god and money lila mbalo linajipeleka katika ukahaba kati ya pesa na mungu you see unaona so the issue is when peter steps out he meets the same thing sasa swala ni hili wakati petro anajitokeza anakutana na jambo lile lile as he's walking on water they are heckling him from behind are you crazy so when he turns then you see that he's thinking you can read the scripture later wakati anatembea katika maji wanamuita Wanamuuliza kama yeye ni mwendazimu na wakati anageuka nyuma anaanza kuzama. Unaweza soma toka kwa maandiko. So that means you should not look back when you step out. When you go into your wilderness experience, turn off, turn off everything. Just focus on God. Hiyo inamaanisha wakati ambapo umejitenga, umesimama kando, usirudi nyuma wala kuangalia nyuma. Weka kila kitu kando na wewe uweze tu kuangalia mbele wakati ule wa hali yako ambayo unapitia katika jangwa. And God will bring you to the next level. Naye Mungu atakuleta kwa kiwango kinachofuata. He will always bring you to the next level. Kila wakati atakuleta kwa kiwango kinachofuata. And let's see where your help is. Your help now. Hebu tutazame msaada wako sasa. Where does your help come from? John chapter 16 somebody. 
msaada wako unatoka wapi Yohana mtakatifu mlango wa 16 mtu The help that will help you out in the wilderness Msaada utakao kusaidia katika jangwa The help that you are going to encounter Msaada utakao kutana nao It is John chapter 16 verse 5 and you can read those scriptures and meditate over them Ni Yohana 16 mstari wa 5 na unaweza soma maandiko hayo kisha tafakari kuyahusu And the Lord will help you Na yeye Bwana atakusaidia And this is meant to help you grow Na hii ni ya kukusaidia ukue Just grow as a Christian so you can be different from the other Christians out there Kama mkristo ili uwe tofauti na wakristo wengine walio kule nje And remember na kumbuka that the prophetic time has changed kwamba wakati wa kinabii umebadilika chapter 16 verse 5 16 mstari wa 5 he says now i am going to him who sent me anasema lakini sasa mimi naenda zangu kwake yeye aliyenituma yet none of you ask me wala hakuna hata mmoja wenu aniulizae where are you going unakwenda wapi because i have said these things ila kwa sababu nimewaambia haya mambo you are filled with grief but i tell you the truth it is for your good that i am going away huzuni imejaa mioyoni mwenu lakini mimi nawaambieni yaliyo kweli yawafaa ninyi mimi niondoke unless i go away kwa maana nisipoondoka the counselor will not come to you huyo msaidizi hata wakujieni but if i go bali mimi nikienda i will send him to you nitawatumieni ninyi when he comes he will convict the world of guilt guilt in regard to sin and righteousness and judgment in regard to sin because men do not believe in me in regard to righteousness because i am going to the father where you can see me no longer and in regard to judgment because the prince of this world now stands condemned i have much more to say to you more than you can now bear but when he the spirit of truth comes he will guide you into all truth he will not speak on his own he will speak only what he hears and he will tell you what is yet to come Naye akiisha kuja huyo atauhakikisha ulimwengu kwa habari ya dhambi na haki na hukumu kwa habari ya dhambi kwa sababu hawaniamini mimi kwa habari ya haki kwa sababu mimi ninaenda zangu kwa baba wala hamnioni tena kwa habari ya hukumu kwa sababu yule mkuu wa ulimwengu huu amekwisha kuhukumiwa hata bado ni kali ninayo mengi ya kuambia lakini hamwezi kuyastahimili hivi sasa lakini yeye atakapokuja huyo roho wa kweli atawaongoza awatie kwenye kweli yote kwa maana hata nena kwa shauri lake mwenyewe lakini yeye atakayo yasikia atayanena na mambo yajayo atawapasha habari zake hapo ndipo msaada wenu ulipo that is where your help is my friends hapo your ndipo help, msaada wenu ulipo marafiki zangu your help is within the holy spirit msaada wenu uko ndani ya roho mtakatifu so in other words everything i taught today is about how can you encounter the holy spirit kwa hivyo kwa maneno mengine mambo yote ambayo nimefunza leo hii ni kuhusiana ni jinsi gani utakavyoweza kukutana na roho mtakatifu and i have talked about the need to separate out na nimeongea kuhusu hitaji la kujitenga from where you are acquainted you are doing church as usual kutoka pale ambapo umezoea unafanya kanisa kama kawaida where you are doing relationship with god as usual pale ambapo una uhusiano na Mungu kama kawaida many times we have called it the outer court gospel where there is a lot of daily ministry and compromise with the devil wakati mwingi tumepaita nyua za nje ambapo kuna huduma ya kawaida na kupatana sana na shetani so you can move into the inner court ivi kwamba uingie katika patakatifu pa watakatifu the spiritual inner court patakatifu pa watakatifu pa kiroho inside the inner court ndani ya patakatifu pa watakatifu that i'm calling you to go into ambapo ninawaiteni muingie there is a lot of holiness kuna utakatifu mwingi sana and you cannot live in holiness the way the lord wants you to live unless you encounter the holy spirit na hauwezi kuishi katika utakatifu jinsi bwana atakavyouishi ijapokuwa ukutane na roho mtakatifu because the lord is very clear that if you just look at a woman and lust at that woman you have committed adultery maana bwana yuko wazi kabisa kwamba ukimtazama tu mwanamke na kisha umtamani tayari umefanya uzinzi if you look at a man and 
feel angry at that man you have committed murder already that means it's very hard for you to live that life ikiwa utamwangalia mtu na uweze kumkasirikia uwe na hasira na yeye tayari umepata kumuua na hiyo inamaanisha ni vigumu sana kuishi hayo maisha unless you encounter the holy spirit ijapokuwa ukutane na roho mtakatifu in other words what i've taught you people today kwa maneno mengine kila ambacho nimewafunzeni ninyi watu leo hii is one of the mechanisms that is in the bible of how you can encounter the holy spirit ni moja wapo ya hatua iliyo katika biblia kuhusu jinsi unavyoweza kukutana na ye roho mtakatifu it involves separating completely from your usual domain inahusisha kujitenga kabisa kabisa kutoka maeneo yako ya kawaida You cannot continue encountering the Lord as a group the way Gideon was trying to do before. Hawezi kuendelea kukutana na Bwana kama kikundi jinsi Gideon alikuwa anajaribu kufanya pale mwanzoni. Why have these things happened to us? Ni kwa nini haya mambo yametutendekea? Why are we not seeing what our fathers saw? No, it will come from why has this happened to me? Ni kwa nini hatuoni haya mambo ambayo baba zetu waliona? Hapana, itatokana na kwa nini haya mambo yamenitendekea mimi binafsi? And then you begin to speak to him in a personal way. Alafu taanza kunena na yeye kwa njia ya kibinafsi. Once you are separated from the noise that you're seeing out there. Pale ambapo utajitenga na ile makelele unayoyaona pale nje. He might also cause you to separate from work group acquaintance, work group meetings or whatever that you always do after work all those things that may lead you to sin he knows pia anaweza kukusababisha ujitenge na watu ambao ni wandani wa karibu mnaofanya nao kazi kwa pamoja na vikundi hivyo ambavyo huwa mnakuwa navyo kila wakati baada ya kazi navyo vinaweza kupeleka katika dhambi na anajua hayo mambo yote he may cause you to be separated and go into solitude anaweza kukusababisha ukajitenge uingie katika upweke what the world calls loneliness kile ambacho ulimwengu unaitwa upweke but yes spiritual loneliness is good lakini ni sawa kukua upweke kiroho ni sawa especially if it's going to bring you closer to the holy spirit hasa sana kama inaenda kukuleta karibu na huyu roho mtakatifu and i have spoken with you very carefully about these things na nimenena nanyi kwa umakinifu sana kuhusiana na mambo haya i have said that the lord promised you that the Holy Spirit your counselor. Nimesema kwamba Bwana aliwaahidia Roho Mtakatifu aliyemshauri wenu. He will send him and when he comes to you. Atamtuma na wakati Roho atawakujieni. He will lead you into truth, into all truth and he will convict the world. Atawaongoza katika kweli, katika kweli yote naye ataishawishi dunia. He will convict you too so you can know what is wrong and what is right. Atakushawishi hata na wewe pia ili ujue kile kilicho sawa na kisicho sawa. So it is very critical that as Christians we go through a wilderness experience so we can grow. Kwa hivyo ni muhimu sana sisi kama wakristo tupitie hatua hii ya jangwani hivi kwamba tuweze kukua. Let us not try to a group thing with Jesus. It cannot work. Hebu tusijaribu kumwendea Yesu katika kikundi haiwezekani. Otherwise we are going to wipe into group judgment, you see. La sivyo tunaenda kuhukumiwa katika hukumu ya kikundi, unaona? And there are certain defilements that have to lead to corporate sin. Na unaona kwamba kuna unajinsi wa aina fulani ambao unapelekea dhambi ya pamoja. And we need to walk out of them. Na itabidi tujitenge tutoke ndani yake. Verse thirteen of uh, John chapter 6 it says, but when he the spirit of truth come, he will guide you into all truth. Mstari wa 13 kitabu hicho cha Yohana 16 anasema lakini wakati yeye roho mtakatifu wa ukweli atakapokuja atawaongozeni katika ukweli wote He will not speak on his own Hata nena kivyake He will speak only that which he hears Atanena kile ambacho anasikia and will tell you what is yet to come Na atawaambieni yale yajayo He will protect you Atawalinda He is going to protect the book of Hebrews Atawalinda hebu utome kitabu cha Waibrania Look at what he does Na tuangalie anavyofanya Hebrews chapter 13 Waraka wa Ibrania mlango wake wa 13 I'm reading verse 5 Nasoma mstari wake wa 5 This is the promise of the help 
Hii ndio ahadi ya msaada that will keep you ambayo itakuhifadhi and will allow you to do the thing that the Lord has set in your life that you do na itakuruhusu ufanye yale mambo ambayo Bwana ameweka katika maisha yako ili uyatende He says keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God has said never will I leave you never will I forsake you Inasema msiwe na tabia ya kupenda fedha muwe radhi na vitu mlivyo navyo kwa kuwa yeye mwenyewe amesema sitakupungukia kabisa wala sitakuacha kabisa Listen to me Nisikize I have talked to you today Nimenena nanyi leo about the need to separate yourself so you can encounter the Holy Spirit Kuhusu hitaji la kujitenga hivi kwamba uweze kukutana na Roho Mtakatifu The Holy Spirit will provide for you Roho Mtakatifu ataweza kuwapatieni mahitaji yenu The Holy Spirit will protect you Roho Mtakatifu atawalinda The Holy Spirit will teach you Roho Mtakatifu atawafunza how to pray jinsi ya kuomba even where you cannot pray hata pale usipoweza kuomba without the holy spirit you cannot even meet god bila roho mtakatifu hauwezi hata kukutana na mungu and if it takes separation like elijah and moses did like jesus did na kama itagarimu kujitenga jinsi elia na musa walivyofanya jinsi bwana wetu yesu kristo alivyofanya please separate tafadhali jitenge let us have a wilderness experience hebu tuwe na hatua ya kupitia jangwani he met moses separate whether he liked it or not akamfanya musa akajitenga apende asipende things were not working there mambo hayakuwa kiendelea vyema pale and the spirit of the lord naye roho wa bwana also allowed the children of israel to separate into the wilderness akawaruhusu wana wa israeli wajitenge katika jangwa so he could clean them up ili aweze kuwasafisha the ones that were murmuring he killed wale waliolalamika akawaua the ones that were grumbling he killed and cleaned up wale ambao walinungunika akawaua na pia akawasafisha idol worshipers he separated and killed them out wale ambao walikuwa na abudu sanamu na vinyago akawatenga na kuwaua he wants to kill anataka kuua those elements in your life vile vipengee katika maisha yako he surely wants to separate you hakika anataka kukutenga and so may the lord help you na kwa hivyo hebu bwana akusaidie even as you go into your wilderness experience hata wakati unaingia katika hatua yako ya jangwani and may you encounter the holy spirit na hebu ukutane na roho mtakatifu because it is he that can help you to meet god maana ni yeye awezaye kukusaidia ukutane na Mungu
Oh. 